Hello, hello, this is Cruising Chris from EndlessHorizonVacations.com, your favorite travel advisor. We are here on location at the Greenville, South Carolina airport, just back from the world's and nation's largest cruise conference, Cruise 360, and just wanted to talk briefly about uh, mask and testing requirements and all the cruise line startups. So we're gonna talk about it, up next. First, before we get into it, if you could please uh, like this uh, video, uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the bell uh, for notifications. You'll be notified by any and all videos that we come out with and keep you informed as much as we can. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I just got back from the nation's largest cruise conference, Cruise 360 down in Miami, Florida, and I've got to say how exciting that was to see all the cruise lines, even uh, the smaller, uh, even the river cruise lines, so, so excited to get back to service. Uh, they are all get, uh, getting ready and uh, getting everything together so they can put passengers on all of their ships by the end of the year, but very safely. Uh, that was the number one concern of every cruise line that I spoke to this past week, uh, doing it properly, safely for all their passengers was top of, top of the list. Uh, that was a number one that they were all focused on and I truly believe uh, they are going to be successful in doing that. So with gathering all the information from all the cruise lines, uh, going through all the seminars, talking to all of our managers and representatives, which each cruise line I am just so excited uh, to be in the industry and to help you out and inform you as our client of the right cruise line and the right ship uh, to take uh, for you and your group. We were actually able when we were down there in Miami uh, to take a good look and see uh, the Royal Caribbean's uh, Symphony of the Seas, uh, the Norwegian Gem, uh, the Disney Wonder, uh, we got to see some fabulous ships down there and it was fantastic to get that insight um, on uh, how they are getting those prepared for passengers in the next couple months. But to put passengers on these ships safely and to make sure the cruise lines and the industry are able to succeed with doing all of this, all the cruise lines are starting to implement very strict protocols uh, to follow, to have all their passengers follow. Just in the beginning here, uh, while they get cruising back going and uh, hopefully get a handle of the COVID uh, variants that are out there. So what uh, they are all moving towards uh, for the rest of 2021 is uh, two things, masks, uh, masks are going to be required for most of the ships now. Uh, they tried to start off by having everyone just uh, wear them onto the ship, making sure everyone was vaccinated, um, and uh, then letting them uh, you know, do what they'd like to once they get onto the boat as far as masks go. What uh, it's being proven, I, I, from what I gather, is that even vaccinated people uh, are able to transmit uh, or carry uh, COVID and transmit it in some way. So they're going to take every precaution they can and try and have everyone that are inside their ships uh, wear masks. So that is coming down the line. Uh, pretty much every cruise line is gonna start to do that, requiring everybody to wear masks while they're inside the ship. While you're on the Lido and outside, uh, then it will be um, to your uh, liking if you'd like to wear a mask or not. Second thing is uh, for testing. Uh, now, because uh, it is being seen that even vaccinated people can carry uh, COVID, they're going to start and they are already starting to have vaccinated people get tested before they get to the ship. So before you embark, um, even vaccinated people are gonna have to have the, the antigen test. Uh, it's a simple test. Uh, most pharmacies are doing it for free now. 
uh, you can just stop by, go through uh, Walgreens, CVS, where, uh, your local pharmacy, uh, do the little inside the nose swab, very easy. Most of the tests take about an hour to get back your results, not a problem. And like I said, most of them are free. If you are not vaccinated, then uh, you're gonna be required to get the, the PCR test and uh, that is a little bit more in depth. Uh, a few um, other hurdles that you have to go through to get that test done. Um, and then uh, you have to be those 5% of people that they're letting on the boats that are not vaccinated. Um, most of the boats now, uh, most of the ships, they're letting um, just 5% of the passengers not be vaccinated. So uh, some of the ships even are, are just going with 100% vaccinated uh, passengers and um, trying to, to get through this COVID uh, turn of times that is going on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just remotely thinking about going on a cruise uh, by, you know, sometime this year, anytime next year, even into 2023, uh, reach out to us. I would love to talk with you, uh, go over uh, options, uh, trying to match you up with the right cruise line, the right ship for uh, what your activities and your interests are. Uh, it does take a lot. It's, it's kind of a shot in the dark doing it yourself. Uh, us as travel agents, that's what we do. Uh, we are uh, educated. Uh, we have the experience and the knowledge to match you up with the perfect uh, trip and ship out there to make that trip a memorable one that you will talk to everyone you know of and remember for a long, long time. And after being at the Cruise 360 conference this past week, I do have to put two plugs out there for two lines that really, really impressed me that uh, I was a little unfamiliar with. Uh, first, MSC Cruise Lines. And they've been hitting the American market quite uh, hard here lately. They actually, uh, two years ago, they bought a private island and they've been uh, uh, refurbishing it. It is, uh, they're, they're calling it the Ocean K. Um, island and uh, they are really ramping it up. Uh, I have a travel agent that actually is on uh, one of the ships that uh, set sail there last week and uh, they're um, having a real good time there. MSC, they do it upright. They're in between a Carnival and Royal Caribbean line and uh, they are uh, ready to set sail and put you on that cruise line. The other cruise line I was so impressed with is a, a smaller cruise line called Windstar. Windstar. I was so impressed with the representative there and everything he had to say about the line. Uh, they only have six ships in their line, but they are a US, USA brand, and uh, they do a lot of USA trips. So whether it be to Alaska, down to the Caribbean, uh, their itineraries are superb. Uh, they are a smaller line, so if you don't want the masses on your ship, uh, they travel anywhere on their ships, anywhere from 100 to 200 people. And uh, what they actually uh, said that what their line is for uh, or who, they're promote, who they promote to, uh, in individual or families that are very, very active, uh, but just want to have a casual getaway uh, somewhere in, in an experience that is an active experience, but is very casual and laid back. So if, uh, if you're um, someone of that type, uh, let's look at Windstar for you. Uh, they, they have excellent pricing. Uh, you'd be surprised on how low their pricing is for what they offer, and it is just truly a worry-free vacation. So again, this is Cruising Chris from EndlessHorizonVacations.com, your favorite travel advisor. We would love to help you any way we can with your future uh, trip plans. So if you would, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below, uh, hit the like button. Uh, you'll be uh, notified of any and all future videos that we put out to keep you informed in the industry. And we truly appreciate you taking the time, listening to me, and uh, seeing what we have to say here. Again, this is Cruising Chris from EndlessHorizonVacations.com. Hope to talk to you real soon.